Hello everyone! This video is about manipulating train pathfinding in OpenTTD. Really, that entails two things. One, how can we discourage or prevent trains from taking routes that they would otherwise want to take? And two, how can we encourage or trick trains into taking routes that they would normally not take? These techniques are essential for advanced self-regulating networks, but they're also useful for networks of any size and scale and can teach us a lot about train pathfinding. So here is our test bed, and as you can see, it's just a really simple split and merge. So it lets in trains one at a time, and each train has to pick between the two tracks. But if we use our imagination, we can pretend that this is the entrance to a two-track main line, and we want to have trains evenly distributed between the two tracks, but for some reason, trains are really preferring one track over the other. And what we want to do is discourage trains from taking the popular track. And we can do that using Pathfinder penalties. So the first thing you'll notice is that, despite the fact that these tracks are identical, trains are preferring the right path. And that's just because... Uh, we're letting trains in one at a time, and the situation is so simple, so the trains are always just going to stick to one path. In this case, it's just random based on the way the pathfinder works. So, for example, if I add a random track there, now the trains prefer the left path. So these paths are equally desirable, until we start adding pathfinder penalties. So, let's look at three pathfinder penalties ordered from weakest to strongest. Now the weakest Pathfinder penalty is a level crossing. So you can see once I add a road there, now all the trains will start preferring the left route. And that's regardless of whatever quirks there are in the Pathfinder. So adding that track over there doesn't do anything. But this really is a very weak Pathfinder penalty, so it's not too useful. Uh, the next strongest Pathfinder penalty is a station platform. So you can see if I add a station platform there, now trains start preferring the right route again. And that's because a station platform is equivalent to about three level crossings. But a uh, station platform is not very pretty as a Pathfinder penalty, since you have to have a whole station and sign there. So the third and strongest Pathfinder penalty that we'll look at is one that I use all the time, the backwards two-way path signal. So this is equivalent to about two and a half station platforms. And I use it nearly every game, in at least a couple places, to discourage trains from taking particular routes. And we can just add as many or as few as we need to discourage trains from uh, turning right here. Now fourth and finally, let's talk about reversers. So a reverser is a little dead-end piece of track that forces trains to turn around before they can continue, like so. But in a way, you can think about a reverser as if it's a Pathfinder penalty with infinite penalty. And that's because the train pathfinder doesn't understand how reversing works. So trains will never want to take this left route unless you force them to. So for example, uh, we could add a waypoint there and add an order for trains, for the red trains to go to this waypoint, let them cycle a bit. And now you can see the, the red trains are forced to take the reverser and the purple trains will definitely avoid it since it's effectively an infinite pathfinder penalty. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can trick trains into taking paths they don't want to take. So here, uh, I've adjusted the tracks, added some signals, and you can see we have seven backwards two-way path signals. So trains definitely do not want to take the right path. But we can trick them into taking the right path using what's called a pathfinder trap. But to make one of those, we're going to need to turn on two-way EOL. So to do that, hit the tilde in the top left of your keyboard and type in this command. And what this does is it makes it so that trains see a two-way red block signal as a dead end. So once we have that on, we can add a little piece of bait track, I guess. And so trains will think they can cut over on that. And then we only need to add a small Pathfinder penalty to the left track. And you can see now trains are cutting over. So we want them to think they can do that, but actually prevent them from doing that. So what we can do is add a two-way block signal and then add a little loop around it so that whenever the train reaches right here, that signal is red. And we also want to add a signal on the other side just so these two blocks don't connect. So now all the trains thinking they're so clever are going, hey, I can go to the right and then I can cut across and I can avoid all the Pathfinder penalties. But what's actually happening is as soon 
as they reach this spot here, the signal turns red and they think it's a dead end, so now they're, now they're forced to go to the right through all these penalties. Now one thing to note is that if we look at this command, it says first red. So even if this signal is always red, I can do that using some combo signals, trains here, when they reach this split, will still think they can take this left turn. It's not until they actually reach this point right here that they actually look at that red signal and see it as a dead end. Now this works with uh, backwards PBS signals, but you can also go all out. You can even force trains or trick trains into going onto reverser with this. So normally trains would never ever want to take this right route because they see it as a dead end, but this route is just as bad. So now we can force all those trains onto a reverser if we wanted to. So let's take a look at how all these things come together. So this is Open TTD Coup game number 335, and this is a FERS game, so we want to deliver engineering supplies to primary industries to boost their production. Now over here on this maglev line, we can see we have trains, uh, self-regulating network trains that have very sparse orders. Just go to a waypoint and full load. So the question is, how do we get these trains to unload? If we unpause the game and look ahead on the track, we can see over here we have a pathfinder trap. So this main track uh, has two backwards path based signals as a pathfinder penalty. And over here, there's a track that trains think they can take, but when they actually pass by, the signal turns red and prevents trains from passing through and skipping these penalties. And that actually turns red uh, as a memory and it stays red. Now that train, which was forced down over here, now unloads its engineering supplies at whatever particular station it hit, in this case, uh, this uh, sandbank. And then every month, uh, well, this isn't really related to pathfinding, but every month this yellow track uh, is hooked up to a timer, so it turns green and resets this memory and allows more engineering supplies to be delivered. Anyway, that's going to bring us to the end of this video, so please leave any questions or comments down below, I look at every one of them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.